Hi. Hi, oh, Josh. You guys. Oh, what was that? Just hit you in the head. Oh, oh, God. Oh, damn, that hurt. Quit screwing around. Oh. Oh. Stay right there, Josh. Ow, oh, damn. Ow, oh, my hand. My hand. Turn around. Oh, oh my ground. God. Get on the ground. Ow, 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 my hand. Why are you doing this? Ow, why? Get on the ground. Straighten your you, feet out. Why are you doing this? Straighten your why feet out. Why are you doing that? Uh, Listen to me, okay? I'm listening to you. Stay right there. Oh, my God, I'm so much pain. Listen to me. Oh, when God. I get up, when I get up, I don't want you to move, okay? Until you hear that door shut, all right? Okay. All right, stay right there. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you very much for that. Welcome. <laughs> so what's his deal? Uh, salt uh, uh, two, two, rob one. Rob one. Oh, salt oh, two, sorry. rob one. Did he know his victim? Yeah. Basically, it was a drug deal come bad. OK. Yeah. Is he high? No. Or is he just yeah. agitated? No, he absolutely yeah. fine up until. Uh, Do you think that it's just like the whole reality thing hit him and he, he started getting like agitated? Get or he, until he, the he, end. Yeah, he didn't like it when he found out that he was going to get charged. Okay. He was all fine when he thought he was going to get released and go back home with his girlfriend. Right. But when that didn't come through, that's what he got. Okay. So he started acting up. He's been, he's been in our custody for four hours. Uh, the, uh, but it was only in the last 10, 15 minutes this happened? 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, you didn't break your knuckle because if you did, you couldn't bend it like that. Josh, I'll tell you what, if you continue to hurt yourself like that, I'm going to put you on a restraint board. I don't want to do that, but if you put me in that position, I will. When, when you calm down, I'm going to explain everything to you, okay? But right now, you're too upset to listen. You can? Can you sit down for me? Okay, Josh. I'm sorry for going No, don't, don't apologize. I'm so sorry. I don't don't apologize. Like I don't even know why I'm acting like this. Okay. What happened tonight? Where were you at tonight? I went to, to go buy some weed from a friend, and right. I bought it for my mom. I didn't even buy it for myself. I was trying to help my mom out. Okay. And he stole a bag of weed from me, and I'm like, no, please do it tonight. My mom's going to kill me. And so finally I said, Dude, I have a knife and I'm gonna stab you if you don't give it back to me. Mm -hmm. He grabbed the knife and grabbed me and he fell on the ground and he's I guess he scraped his arm with a knife and okay. now I'm in jail. Okay. It's so, ridiculous. Okay, well let me explain something to you, Josh. <laughs> if I had a knife and I told you that I was going to stick you with a knife, would that make you a little nervous? Yes, I'm okay. just saying. I okay. understand so, I, what so. I did was wrong, okay. but I shouldn't be in jail for what happened. Josh, anytime you pull a knife on somebody, they're going to bring you to jail for it, OK? I want to be here at all. OK, you can't change that, Josh. You're here, and that's not going to change. I know. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you something to wear. All right. I'll get you some food, but I need you to calm down because I can't process you while you're this upset. I'm trying. It's just okay. hard. I'm so freaked out right now. Okay. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay. You're 21. I need you to suck it up and start acting like 21, okay? I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten forever. Okay. You, you start working on your part and I'll work on my part, all right? Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Did he say the same thing to you as he said to me in there? I, about how he pulled the knife on the kid and he was yeah. threatening to use it against him and that the guy... Lunged at him? Yeah. yeah. So. Slight difference of accounts, you could say. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, he had marijuana for his mom. Yeah. yeah. It's not his, it's for his mom. Uh, the guy loves his mom. Mm -hmm. Loves his mom. It's Great. not even Mother's Day. No, it's not Mother's Day, but it's getting close to Christmas. <laughs> Okay. You think you can be able to maintain like you are right now, sitting out with everybody else? Yes. Promise? I promise. Okay. Do you understand why you're here now? Do you I, understand that I by pulling a knife out on somebody, they have to take you to jail? Just the circumstances of I was going to go beat it for my mom, trying mm -hmm. to be nice, trying to make peace with this guy. In right. The circumstances. And then he made it get worse, and then you felt you had to pull the knife on him, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I'm not going to try to get you upset again. So when I bring you out of this room, 
I'm going to start working you through the process, and you'll have about four or five stops to make during that process. So, but I want you to keep this ice on your hands. It's going to help keep the swelling down, which is the same thing that Vicodin's going to do, but you got to keep that on there, okay? All right. All right, why don't you come on out? Step on over to the counter there. Mike, did he have any property? All right. Listen for your name to be called, all right? All right. The reality of a Measure 11 crime is prison time for him, and he's only 21 years old, and he's very concerned about that. He'll go to court on Monday and find out what his fate is, but the chances are he's not going to be released on Monday after he gets arraigned. He'll be here for quite a while. This Tulsa County Jail, we're a 1,704 bed facility. We house everything from people that just couldn't pay their speeding tickets to serial rapists and serial killers. I've been here with Tulsa County Sheriff's Office about 14 months. I work in the booking area. I'm one of the first officers to uh, interact with prisoners as they come in off the streets. I'm not trying to spit on you. I'm not what you're doing to me, man. I'm a animal. I'm a animal, man. To you. You wait till the executive branch gets there. You wait till the executive branch gets there. I'm going to see you every morning. Man. subject right there came in. He was pretty intoxicated. He got kicked out of the bar tonight. Who are you, man? Touching me. Take these handcuffs off, and then you can abuse me some more. Take them off, man. Let's go. Touch me again. Take these handcuffs off, and then you touch me. You're a bull ass. Yes. You're always going to be that, man. We need a taser, maybe. I've got one. What happened with this guy? We had a uh, call at a local bar. Apparently, he was fighting with security at, at that bar. When I pulled up, placed him in custody. Other officers showed up. He was combative. He kicked at Officer McGill while he was trying to pat him down for weapons. We pulled a knife out of his pocket. I've encountered him before. He's just easily agitated. Think that's cool? We have a combative inmate from earlier. He's banging on the walls. He's uh, pretty intoxicated, so we're going to move him to a smaller cell, and we're going to put on restraints to keep him from hurting himself. And he's banging his head, too, so we're going to go ahead and put a helmet on him. Get down. Get down on the ground. Yeah. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. We're being innocent, man. Listen, I am crazy, okay? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I'm innocent. I've done nothing, man. I've done nothing. I've done nothing. I'm innocent. Why are you making a mess? Go ahead and sit down Why are you? Sit down on the ground. Being second or friend, being all crazy. I don't care. Okay. Right? Oh, man, now, come on. Hey man, once you calm down, we'll have the nurse check out your hand. Okay, but right now, as violent as you're acting right now, we can't, I'm not gonna put a nurse at risk. Once you show that you can calm down, we'll make sure that the nurse checks you out, man. You have For his protection, we went ahead and cuffed him up. But until he sobers up, he's going to be in that state. What do you want, man? You want to switch me some more? Yeah. I didn't do nothing wrong, man. You got some public drunk on me? Beat me up. Put That's your abuse. hands down. OK, I got my hands down. I'm cooperating with you guys. Problem is, I want to kill that yeah, you know, bring your right foot up. Let me see the bottom. I wish he could make peace with me. He could tell me why he's got to be so damn abusive. Maybe, you know, it can explain why he's got to touch me. Might have something to do with the way you talk to him. Maybe that's your problem. 
turn around. There's no reason for this, man. This is not public drunk, you know. Look at these rings around my wrist. I understand. Do you really or do you? No, I see them a lot. Walk a lot. that way. Do you want me to throw uh, happy number three in there? We placed the subject in the restraint chair because of its destructive nature. We use the chair probably once a week. Uh, public drunk? I'm just asking. Are you ready to quiet down, calm down? Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you're banging your, because, look, buddy, you got arrested by the Tulsa Police Department, OK? OK, I just want to be let loose. You don't understand, man. I just want no, to let listen. I don't have to understand, okay? I you mean, are the one that you needs to have understand. You have that power. Honestly. You need to understand right now, okay? I'm going to get you out of the chair, all right? You're treating me like I'm getting looking at you. Did I not explain to you what you were doing? You were banging your head against the glass. Because I'm an innocent man. So innocent men try to hurt themselves. Is that what you're saying? It's more right. I'm going to take yourself. you to court. I will take you to court. You know what? Because I am not guilty until proven that way. I didn't say you were guilty. All okay. these and I didn't arrest like you either. Look at me, man. I can't even get up, man. Well, I'm innocent. Calm down a little bit, all right? I'm innocent, man. Look, at, look what Turn they do in my head. Turn around, man. A helmet on me like an idiot. Look, man. It hurt my hands. That's what the police officer is doing. Let out first. Like is, that, that. is that cuffs? And then I try to file a complaint on that one right here. But no way can listen to me. All right, you guys go. You need to hear as long as you want. But I guarantee you. You must be taking political science. <laughs>